Well, I just wanted to say something I think is quite important um, in terms of your flowers and preparing your flowers. Whether you get them from a petrol station or a supermarket or your florist, you may need to do just a tiny bit of work to them once they come in. So that is a Lysianthus stem. That's how I would get it in from the wholesaler. And what I want to do is take off the lower leaves. All of these are kind of unnecessary. And you might find that some of the leaves have already started to turn brown. And so you want to just give them a trim, take the lower leaves off. And with the majority of these flowers, you can just hold the top of the stems together and pull them down. Alstroemeria, they come like this when I get them in. Cute little, little duvets <laughs> that they come in. And what you really want to do is take off any ones that are broken and literally take off the majority of the stems. If you like a little bit of leaf there and they look quite nice, just leave them. Take off their little jackets. I mean, I think that actually when you get them from the flower shop, they'll have already done all this. But just in case you decide to go to um, a wholesaler market, I know here in London, we've got Covent Garden Market and it's, um, oh, it's fantastic. You just go there and you're just blown away. All your senses are overwhelmed with the colors, the noise, the scents of all the flowers. And you'll come away with flowers in their actual natural, well, as natural as can be state um, with nothing done to them. And you will find that when you get them home, you're going to need to look at things like that. That might happen. And just pull those off, keep them to one side and they can go in a little vase later on. And same with foliage. You might see that there's that's not really going to fit in your vase. Don't feel bad about pulling the, the bases off. What you, what you want to end up with is some nice clean stems, whether you're going to decide to do a hand tie or even if you're just going to put them in a vase, um, you need to have nice clean stems to work with. Carnations. Oh, carnations. I just love carnations. And I'll tell you why. I think a lot of people I've always had an issue with carnations, like, oh, no, I don't like carnations. But for me, carnations, especially nowadays, come in the most amazing colours. And they last for three weeks, four weeks. And you can prise them open by twisting underneath here. And you can fluff them out. They don't bruise. They are... One of the most hardy flowers, although the stems are quite brittle, so they will snap. And so I would suggest that if you've got a nice little pretty bit of foliage there, leave it because that will just enhance your flower arrangement. Um, but the rest of them down here, just pull them off. You can open them up, just slightly squeeze between thumb and finger and then brush them gently to the side and they'll open up and they look gorgeous. And it's just such a subtle color. Now, coming to gerberas. Now with the gerberas, their stems are, when you first get them, they're beautiful and strong. But as the time goes by, the heads are quite heavy. And so eventually what you'll find is that this tends to droop over and you get a lot of gerberas looking down. So as a florist, um, to work with gerberas, we tend to wire them. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly show you how we do that. My trusty little pot of wires. So you can get these wires, they're called um, stub wires. You can get them from very fine to really thick and slightly finer. And these, so fine, you can hardly see them. And what we tend to do is I would cut it just a little bit. Get one of those. What we tend to do is poke the, the wire and we pierce 
the underneath of the head of the gerbera and then slowly twist and wind the flower around and round and round and round till you get to the end. And that gives the gerbera a really strong stem and you cut them down and they'll last a lot longer and the head's lovely and strong. And then with foliage again, it'll come and it'll have lots of leaves underneath, but something like that just looks a lot um, better. So just make sure that when you get them, you clean all the stems off. And even if you're not planning to make them up straight away, you can just gather them all together, trim your stems, and you can just put them in a, a bucket until you're ready to arrange them. But just make sure that you do a little bit of this prep because it will make your flowers last a lot longer. Thank you.